Good morning. Good morning, Ajish. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to Startup Change Leaders. Uh, Good morning, Ji. Good morning, morning Kalaji. And uh, we are going to discuss uh, today the opportunities in healthcare startups. And uh, uh, as you know, uh, healthcare has become a very, very important aspect for uh, all of us because of uh, the recent uh, COVID-19 cases and uh, the overall scenario which is emerging after that. So uh, there's a lot of opportunity for healthcare uh, startups and health tech startups because this has taken a center stage uh, uh, after uh, the uh, COVID uh, situation. And uh, mm, uh, so we, we uh, uh, will be discussing what are the uh, these opportunities which are existing in healthcare startups what are the healthcare startups doing? Um, if you will uh, uh, look at this space, uh, the, apparently this looks uh, uh, a very uh, small uh, segment of uh, opportunity, but uh, the space has become so huge and there are so many, um, uh, wow. you know, uh, aspects to it that uh, the healthcare is becoming a bit one of the booming uh, uh, segment uh, for the startups. And uh, you will be amazed uh, uh, when we will be discussing today uh, to see how big is uh, this space and uh, the uh, numbers, sheer numbers are humongous. And uh, people are uh, willing to spend uh, more and more money on uh, uh, their uh, uh, healthcare, preventive healthcare, as well as uh, the healthcare uh, which is required because of. Uh, uh, any of your health situation uh, is uh, uh, area which is emerging uh, in a big way. So um, uh, I am Raji Bajaj. Uh, as you know, I am a CEO of Bajaj and Bajaj Corporate Chambers, and we talk about uh, any startup uh, activity uh, every uh, week. So, um, uh, you know, healthcare startups uh, introduce technological advanced products and uh, um, healthcare industry, which is governed by regulations uh, that has showed uh, changes and made innovations within healthcare uh, all the more essential. So uh, we we have a huge uh, opportunity uh, to see that uh, uh, healthcare space uh, is uh, you know something which is now going to have a, a big impact and uh, uh, the. Uh, uh, the regulations are changing. Uh, the uh, biggest challenge in the healthcare uh, uh, industry is uh, that it is it is governed and regulated. So uh, you can't have a, a startup coming in uh, without any uh, proper uh, uh, planning. You don't, can't have uh, without uh, the uh, licenses. So uh, you you need to have a pharmacy. Uh, uh, pharmacist uh, working with you. So there are various licenses uh, for uh, storage and, uh, uh, you know, dealing with the drugs. 
and uh, the regulations are very very clear and very very strict so um, it's not like a it company or uh, uh, any other uh, deep tech startup where you have the idea you have the setup you have the software and you try and implement that uh, it is basically uh, you know you have uh, uh, to uh, you know, analyze and take care uh, as to uh, what exactly um, are you trying to do and accordingly there are various regulations uh, for uh, uh, healthcare startups so all the healthcare companies they have to uh, go through uh, these uh, regulations and uh, they they must uh, take uh, uh, the uh, cognizance of uh, whatever are the regulatory requirements and then they have to operate uh, in that regulated environment so um, uh, innovations also have to be uh, properly uh, understood and uh, regulated so uh, if we look at uh, indian healthcare companies uh, they have uh, really revolutionized the healthcare uh, these companies uh, have uh, uh, a lot of uh, access to uh, various uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, healthcare entrepreneurs are working to solve uh, healthcare uh, business issues like telemedicine, e pharmacy, wearables, health record administration, uh, cutting edge technology is being used for uh, uh, in the healthcare uh, uh, segment, e pharmacies. This segment has uh, really uh, grown. Uh, big in uh, you know recent times uh, even um, the people who used to uh, you know buy medicines the way they used to buy medicines has changed dramatically so even even i uh, you know when i used to uh, have uh, uh, you know uh, off and on we used to go to gamish shop to buy one medicine or the other medicine that uh, uh, total uh, trend has changed and uh, now uh, all these medicines are uh, coming at your doorstep uh, you you order them online and uh, uh, these days uh, sometimes they even they come in two hours so if you have some regular medicines which are uh, uh, kind of a staple medicines for you and you are taking them on monthly basis so you can just order them online and uh, they are uh, and they are having even doctors uh, uh, at their panel uh, so if you don't have a prescription uh, they will uh, you know give you the prescription and uh, they will prescribe the medicine and then uh, uh, deliver that as well so this area has really uh, got revolutionized and uh, you know the uh, um, because of the uh, population, uh, the uh, the size itself has become uh, very big of this pie. You know? Then there are wearables, healthcare wearables, where you can monitor your uh, uh, blood pressure, your heart rate, your uh, uh, you know oxygen levels. All this can be judged uh, by the wearables you are wearing and uh, you can actually monitor your health uh, because of uh, all these uh, uh, you know tools which you uh, can use so i for example i'm i'm using a watch which uh, gives me my heart rate which gives me my oxygen level which tells me how many steps i have walked how many calories i have consumed uh, while walking or exercising I can even monitor my, uh, if I do jogging, uh, my lap. If I play something, I can monitor my play time and uh, how much uh, energy I used in that, how much calories I have used in that. So all uh, these, uh, uh, you know, uh, whatever we are doing, uh, this has a big impact on the uh, uh, industry. And uh, this is... Uh, something uh, we we uh, have uh, uh, something in a big way we can work on and uh, uh, so so wearables have become uh, order of the day and uh, this industry is booming already and is going to boom more 
and uh, uh, then of course health record administration uh, the uh, rural health care assess uh, uh, and uh, their difficulties require innovative solutions so there's lot which is being done uh, in this segment where uh, uh, rural health uh, people are uh, working on and uh, uh, you know uh, they are giving solutions uh, for uh, the healthcare challenges and uh, mm, uh, you know these firms attract investors and a uh, uh, lot of healthcare companies uh, uh, which are interested in uh, growing of this health tech market so um, this is uh, one area where uh, uh, both investors as well as uh, the companies they are having uh, gala time and uh, they they are really uh, making it big and uh, the uh, health tech sector is one of the fastest growing in the world and uh, health tech is uh, uh, intersection of healthcare and technology uh, and uh, uh, that's where the development is so uh, uh, one a big area uh, which uh, uh, the health tech industry is now uh, is uh, you know uh, making it boom is uh, telemedicine now uh, telemedicine is the doctor is sitting uh, even uh, you know uh, in the other city uh, but uh, they uh, uh, are uh, uh, you know uh, kind of uh, they they give you they come online uh, they use the technology uh, so you can have a video call with your doctor uh, the doctor will see for himself and examine uh, what are the uh, you know parameters you are talking about and based on their discussion uh, they will prescribe the medicines to you and uh, you can you can go ahead and uh, so um, i have uh, come across uh, certain uh, hospitals where uh, even invasive surgeries are being done uh, through uh, telemedicine uh, where uh, the uh, expert surgeon uh, is uh, sitting at a command center um, and uh, they are uh, various uh, uh, junior doctors uh, who are there uh, in the uh, operation uh, theater and uh, they they are based on the advice and commands of uh, uh, this uh, senior surgeon um, they are executing uh, the surgeries so this the kind of level of uh, uh, you know uh, the telemedicine has opened uh, the gates uh, for uh, the uh, so technology is actually being used by all these uh, healthcare companies uh, in a big way and uh, they are uh, actually uh, taking uh, the whole uh, uh, you know opportunity uh, making the pie of the opportunity very big so uh, so look at uh, the 20 prominent uh, healthcare startups uh, you know we we have uh, archelus we have trigog we have plum health uh, there are many uh, you know farm easy is uh, the number one uh, they are the largest uh, um, a uh, funded uh, uh, startup uh, i think 1.6 billion uh, us dollar uh, they already got and uh, mm, there are many other glamio health uh, pristin care uh, i think we all know uh, pristin care because uh, uh, you know they are uh, uh, into surgeries so they have uh, developed a ecosystem where uh, uh, all these uh, surgeries can be booked online and uh, the doctors uh, are uh, you know available uh, uh, through the uh, app and you can you can uh, book your surgery you can plan your surgery in a very uh, systematic way and uh, uh, you you uh, get the uh, best uh, uh, you know um, uh, advice and you can even uh, you know visualize how much uh, you are going to be charged for this surgery and you can compare the uh, you know rates of surgery as well uh, so uh, uh, you know this is uh, so all these uh, you know healthcare startups think, you know, they are uh, uh, solving one problem or the other 
they are uh, giving solution to one uh, problem or the other and uh, they are actually uh, uh, contributing to the ecosystem where uh, they uh, are uh, trying to uh, solve practo is another uh, uh, you know uh, such startup uh, cure fit uh, is there uh, indigene is there uh, so uh, so let's uh, you know uh, look at uh, what are these startups all about because uh, i i thought let me uh, uh, you know give you the flavor of uh, uh, what uh, these uh, startups look like and they actually offer a very good uh, uh, investment potential also because healthcare is one segment which is going to grow so healthcare is one area where growth is bound to happen and uh, um, the opportunity is going to become uh, more and more big so uh, so let's look at uh, them one by one uh, you know uh, the farm easy uh, farm easy is uh, a startup uh, where uh, uh, you know it's a e pharmacy company that sells medicines diagnostics uh, telehealth online pharmacy provides easy access to uh, prescribed medicines as well as otc medicines um, so uh, they have positions themselves as an online pharmacy store um, but uh, they uh, offer many more services like uh, lab test and uh, online doctors so uh, this is one area. So they were uh, kind of an early starter uh, in this segment. And now a uh, lot of other players have come in 1MG and a uh, lot of other uh, bigger uh, funded uh, players are there. But uh, um, uh, Palm Easy was, a, uh, you know, they started in 2015 and uh, um, uh, they, they were bootstrapped. So they had the seed funding. Uh, from their internal resources and uh, um, so they have uh, changed the way people buy medicine and uh, uh, you know they offer a wide range of uh, additional services uh, for faster access to uh, the medicine so uh, you know I, I still remember uh, earlier for small small uh, uh, you know medical requirements even for buying one strip of uh, uh, Disprin or something. People used to, uh, you know, uh, travel uh, for uh, five kilometers or something to to take the uh, uh, medicine from a medical shop because medical shop network was also not so huge, and uh, uh, these uh, uh, online delivery was not existing at all. So, uh, but now. Uh, the scenario has really changed. Uh, the medical, uh, uh, these companies have really uh, made it very easy for uh, the uh, uh, all these uh, uh, players to uh, uh, assess the uh, uh, healthcare system. And uh, of course, as I said, med doctors are also available. A lot of uh, diagnostic uh, health is available so you book a uh, diagnostic uh, test and they will come home they'll take the sample and uh, uh, the report will come to you uh, on your uh, you know the uh, mobile or uh, whatever device you are using and uh, let me tell you uh, this has opened doors for uh, india because uh, i i remember i heard uh, uh, a speech of a very big industrialist and he said India is going to be service hub for the entire world and uh, that's a reality uh, I'm told that there are uh, uh, existing some labs in India where the samples are collecting from collected from US they are uh, transported uh, through the uh, uh, through air uh, to uh, India and uh, the testing, everything is done in India. And the report, uh, in any case, uh, goes online uh, to the user uh, within 30, uh, 24 hours or 48 hours, as the case may be. And they don't even realize that uh, this uh, report has come uh, from India. No? So uh, and that uh, is the kind of a pie of opportunity which exists uh, that, uh, you know, uh, uh, 
the service uh, industry has uh, grown uh, in india so much because of uh, this then another uh, big uh, e pharma portal is netmeds netmeds is uh, you know they provide certified prescription over the counter medicine along with healthcare products um, so it's a indian healthcare e commerce startup um, founded in 2010 and companies backed by uh, investors including map advisory uh, orbimed tancam uh you know and couple of others uh, so um, uh, this chennai based startup was first to market pan india solution for instant online purchase uh, and uh, speedy delivery of prescription drugs so uh, they were the ones who uh, were also uh, early movers in uh, this and uh, uh, rather they were the first one so uh, uh, they uh, you know a kind of change the way people uh, do the uh, purchase of medicines another very uh, interesting uh, uh, startup is cultfit cultfit is a platform uh, which combines fitness training with nu nutrition coaching so uh, uh, this company started as a workout app uh, it provide personal tra personalized uh, training plans for individuals and uh, Mm, uh, it provides fitness training in dance yoga and workouts in gym uh, and at home so uh, especially in the pandemic time cultfit uh, really uh, grew uh, exponentially and uh, it also uh, expanded to provide diagnostic test to understand one's uh, current physical and mental well being and also uh, uh, you know mm, Uh, personal training and diet planning it also provided access to clinical trials as well as uh, mental health related services so uh, they have really grown uh, their portfolio in a big way they started as a workout app but uh, they have really become uh, 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 you know holistic uh, uh, company which is providing uh, all the uh, kind of services uh, uh, for uh, healthcare Uh, to uh, their uh, providers so um, uh, cult fit fit is one uh, such company which is uh, providing uh, a lot of opportunity uh, to uh, the uh, users uh, innovaser uh, is uh, a company which uses artificial intelligence to analyze uh, health data and it also provides tools uh, for patient engagement uh, decision making virtual care networks social determinants uh, for health management and uh, remote uh, monitoring and the company has developed a data activation uh, uh, cloud based platform and uh, there are four products being offered by innovaser uh, i i n connect i n graph and i n care so uh, they um, are uh, basically uh, through ai tools they uh, tell you uh, how you uh, can manage your health better uh, what are the parameters on which your uh, body uh, is uh, functioning and uh, they they give lot of uh, uh, inputs on uh, uh, personal health uh, uh, goals you know? so uh, uh, this is uh, another uh, uh, now ai everywhere is bringing in change into Uh, the uh, uh, space so uh, they are the ones who are actually utilizing ai for health management um, another company is practo practo is a uh, 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 world's leading healthcare platform that connects millions of patients with hundreds of uh, 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 you know thousands of healthcare providers around the world and help them make better healthcare decisions um, where uh, patients and doctors can work together uh, on the this uh, web based platform so they are they are the kind of uh, they are giving one stop platform to help consumers um, with their healthcare needs um, for finding the best uh, healthcare provider uh, to book an appointment online doctor consultation uh, getting their uh, you know uh, feedback uh, on their uh, tests and uh, uh, also Uh, they can order medicines 
So um, this is uh, another uh, very practical uh, uh, startup where uh, they are, uh, you know, connecting the patient with the uh, service providers. Healthify Me, uh, this is again uh, Indian digital health and wellness firm called Healthify Me. Uh, it offers services including uh, uh, calorie tracking, counseling on diet and exercise, uh, and uh, the uh, uh, company founder is Tushar Vishesht, and uh, of course, uh, uh, you know, they launched in 2012. Uh, it's a groundbreaking health and fitness app with the goal of transforming the lives of millions of people. Uh, the software assist user uh, is leading uh, uh, to, uh, you know, uh, how to uh, lead a healthy lifestyle and, uh, uh, you know, maintain a balanced diet and staying in uh, shape. Uh, that is uh, what, uh, you know, is all about. Most of the uh, challenges uh, we all face are because of uh, the uh, not living an active lifestyle. So if you are, uh, uh, you know, exercising, if you are uh, uh, running, if you are doing jogging or you are doing yoga or you are doing any other physical activity which is actually keeping you uh, agile and fit, uh, you you can uh, avoid all these lifestyle diseases like diabetes, uh, uh, hypertension and uh, there are many others. Uh, and these days modern age uh, uh, problems are the stress uh, which is and anxiety being uh, uh, you know, faced by all the uh, uh, people who are uh, uh, leading very stressful life. So, uh, so this stress and anxiety also uh, can be handled very well uh, by, uh, uh, you know, uh, if you are maintaining a proper lifestyle. So, uh, all these uh, uh, apps, because uh, these days everything is being handled by your apps, so, uh, uh, you know, this is uh, actually giving you a lot of, uh, uh, you know, mm, uh, support. Uh, another uh, mm, startup uh, mm, which uh, uh, Tata's have come in, uh, Tata Health, where they have acquired one MG also. And uh, uh, so uh, this is, uh, uh, you know, mm, they are giving uh, tailored preventive and uh, predictive healthcare. Uh, for uh, the uh, you know the uh, ecosystem and uh, they provide a full range of healthcare services including the network of carefully chosen doctors specialists and uh, instant doctor consultation services along with clinical solutions remote management and patient appointment prescription billing management uh, service and all so uh, uh, these all these platforms are uh, now uh, providing a lot of uh, ease of uh, you know operating uh, or ease of uh, uh, getting uh, uh, help uh, uh, at the right time uh, so uh, uh, you know that's uh, the uh, beauty of it so uh, uh, you know if you are uh, uh, a healthcare uh, uh, provider then also it's a win-win situation because earlier uh, a doctor may be having a clinic in uh, uh, say south x so he can at the most uh, uh, you know serve the people who are in the near vicinity in south delhi unless he is a very uh, he or she is a very good doctor people will not travel uh, uh, 20 kilometers to uh, consult with that doctor right so it was more of a regional uh, uh, play uh, where doctors used to play in the area in which they used to stay or in which they used to give their services. But now suddenly that uh, has changed and it has become, uh, you know, that these doctors uh, uh, can operate in um, a much bigger, wider area because uh, they, they uh, have uh, uh, access to patients uh, uh, through online uh, uh, models and uh, the patients also are very happy that they can uh, uh, you know discuss with the specialists um, and they don't have to travel uh, that much 
so uh, the the whole gamut of uh, activity the whole gamut of uh, healthcare uh, space has changed and uh, the uh, uh, another uh, very very big opportunity which i uh, see and uh, i advise a company called hdu healthcare uh, is uh, uh, that uh, they are into providing icu services at home now uh, icu service uh, at home is a very very unique uh, uh, proposition because uh, uh, the the uh, uh, they specialized in uh, you know setting up the icu um, uh, at the uh, you know home uh, of the person because sometimes uh, the um, uh, uh, patients are too old or uh, patients are advised by the hospital um, that they need uh, to be under observation for a longer period of time and it is very expensive uh, for the people to uh, continue staying in the hospital uh, uh, in the icu because icu beds are very expensive so um, they are providing at a very nominal cost uh, maybe almost one fifth or one sixth of the hospital cost uh, and they set up the icu at home uh, with a specialist doctor working on it and uh, uh, with uh, uh, even uh, you know uh, a nursing staff which uh, works uh, at the uh, site uh, of the patient and uh, they provide the uh, best of the uh, uh, equipments like uh, hospital beds and uh, uh, you know the other uh, you know such equipments and uh, they they are uh, uh, kind of uh, providing uh, every kind of service including uh, uh, the uh, checkup or uh, test of the doctors can be organized so uh, uh, even even uh, in uh, covid times we have seen uh, that uh, the need for uh, uh, you know the people to uh, have uh, these uh, healthcare services at home or when they are in isolation somebody some doctor is uh, calling them and asking them okay what is your health situation it was uh, felt uh, tremendously so um, and also uh, now these uh, uh, big pharma companies are also having their own uh, uh, patient support programs uh, the, the big pharma companies also have their vaccination programs. Um, uh, for example, Pfizer came out with a, a vaccine, which is, uh, mm, uh, you know, uh, prevents, uh, if you take that vaccine, it prevents you from uh, uh, having any flu. So, um, so uh, and the flus are becoming so, so common these days. Uh, you are prone to, uh, you know, uh, have uh, so COVID is one part. The flu, normal flu, is another uh, very important aspect to manage. So uh, this vaccine, actually, if you take one dose, it will prevent you uh, uh, from uh, getting uh, you know trapped into a flu uh, thing uh, so easily. So 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 they have come with the uh, vaccination. So these uh, uh, companies which are working in this space. They provide this vaccination at the home uh, of the, uh, you know, uh, customer. Or uh, also, they are providing to corporate houses. For example, corporates have become now uh, too uh, open to invest in the health of their uh, employees. They have realized that if the employee will go for uh, off for 20 days, 25 days because of any of this sickness, it will be a loss to the company. So it is very important for uh, them to, uh, you know, uh, uh, to uh, maintain their uh, employees' health. So uh, the corporates are maintaining, uh, uh, you know, paying for all these uh, vaccinations uh, for their employees. So all this uh, has opened up so much uh, uh, opportunity and space for uh, these companies who are uh, working hand in hand with. Uh, uh, patient support programs of pharma companies and uh, so HDU uh, as I was mentioning uh, is specializing in that uh, and they are uh, having lots of uh, uh, big uh, uh, 
you know, uh, they have uh, branches all across the space and uh, they, they are managing it uh, uh, and uh, really expanding and doing very well. So um, like that, there's another startup called Nirmai, which is creating uh, uh, a breast cancer detection method and makes use of uh, uh, thermal optics and artificial intelligence um, uh, applied to thermography images. And the primary goal is uh, to decrease breast cancer fatalities by promoting uh, easy identification because this is one area where people are uh, getting uh, health issues because of non-detection of uh, this cancer. And uh, so they use uh, big data analytics, artificial intelligence, machine learning al algorithms, um, and uh, uh, you know they are used on the cloud hosted uh, and giving analytical solutions um, for precise and early detection of uh, breast cancer. So Nirmai uses non-invasive radiation screen techniques um, and it uh, uh, prioritizes the privacy because uh, uh, you know that is also uh, important uh, for uh, uh, the user. Uh, there's another uh, startup called Docoplex, uh, which is uh, uh, exclusive internet platform for doctors with more than uh, 3 lakh 80 thousand recognized doctors. Uh, one of the biggest and fastest uh, growing uh, uh, online group uh, where uh, uh, they uh, provide uh, you know uh, services like uh, uh, you know clinical publications news much more uh, about healthcare uh, they also uh, you know uh, do webinars so it's a kind of a platform for doctors uh, for them to stay updated uh, and uh, exchange information about uh, their uh, services. Then there's another uh, uh, company called Akincare. Akincare is, uh, uh, you know, they uh, are uh, into maintaining medical records uh, uh, with the uh, goals of assisting NRIs in monitoring health of their family members back home. Now, this is again becoming a big area because uh, people who are uh, already uh, staying abroad, uh, they don't have uh, that kind of, uh, uh, you know, uh, assess uh, uh, to, uh, uh, you know, reach their family members back home. So um, with the aid of AI and deep analytics uh, and patented technology, they uh, uh, order standardization of uh, uh, healthcare sector. And uh, so they provide corporate wellness programs uh, they uh, are also advise members to sync health data uh, from their wearable technology and uh, offer telemedicine, pharmacy, mental health and fitness services. So this is again uh, becoming a very big, uh, uh, you know, because a lot of people, they are now investing on uh, uh, self uh, on their own health. So uh, this is uh, something uh, which is uh, turning out to be a big market. Now, if you look at the estimate numbers, uh, there are over 7,849 health startups in India, uh, in which are uh, helping uh, monitoring health conditions, app using AI to detect illness, uh, platform connecting patients with doctors, um, and much more and uh, they have received overall 6.2 billion funding, which is uh, quite a lot. Uh, uh, and uh, I know uh, certain uh, guys who are specializing in uh, healthcare funding, uh, you know, uh, companies like 1MG, Practo, Potia, uh, uh, you know, DocsApp, like that, there are so many uh, who are uh, uh, playing in this area. And uh, they are the ones who are actually uh, uh, getting a, a very unique uh, flavor of, uh, uh, you know, setting up their uh, uh, op operations. Uh, so, so this is uh, where I think uh, the uh, startup uh, ecosystem is moving and uh, the healthcare uh, space and health tech industry is uh, uh, going to have a, big opportunity so there again there there's still uh, 
although there are so many startups already in uh, working in this area still uh, there are so many uh, uh, open issues which can be solved and uh, the, the there is a, a scope for more innovative startups to come into this area so uh, the what are the hidden challenges for the health tech startups uh, one revamped regulatory models and frameworks so you have to be very careful about uh, the regulatory environment so you you cannot uh, uh, you know compromise on that then of course infrastructure support is required uh, redundancy uh, and me too products uh, because uh, uh, the products also uh, you know keep on uh, changing uh, their color and uh, the new technology which comes sometimes make uh, the old one uh, redundant uh, i i remember i used to uh, uh, have a you know oxygen monitoring uh, a small where you have to uh, you know keep your finger and then you monitor your oxygen level but now that has come in the wearable so there is no need for uh, uh, that uh, uh, kind of uh, um, uh, oxygen checking uh, device because uh, so so the technology uh, change of technology is uh, sometime making the uh, uh, other uh, startups uh, uh, redundant because of uh, uh, you know so you need to be very very careful uh, that uh, longevity of uh, the investment and uh, how you can uh, uh, you know take back is very very important uh, so um, it has to be judicious investment uh, of course resource utilization including personal training strategic and reciprocal uh, partnership with bigger entities so these are the some uh, uh, hidden challenges uh, which are there in the uh, healthcare startup ecosystem so i take a breather here uh, and uh, leave the floor open for some questions and then we can conclude uh, our discussion today on healthcare startups any questions please yeah, yeah. thank you rajiv ji actually in this healthcare sector only uh, doctors can uh, enter or can anybody other no, than no 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 there is no restriction uh, like that uh, uh, in healthcare sector even a lot of techies are having uh, excellent uh, uh, startups um, and uh, if you ask me most of the startups which are there uh, the ceo level guys are all non uh, techies basically or uh, the people who have experience in this industry uh, for example uh, uh, you know uh, uh, but uh, yes they require uh, uh, work hand in hand with doctors uh, and uh, uh, for example for uh, uh, storage of uh, the uh, uh, pharma products or uh, uh, for uh, you know the lab testing facility uh, you require pharmacist or a doctor so those can be recruited you know those people can be working for you uh, and pharma licenses are also available uh, uh, if you if you you know show to them that there is a pharmacist working for you uh, the pharma licenses are given uh, to so it's not very essential that only a doctor can have a healthcare startup healthcare startups are uh, being uh, uh, made by uh, you know or uh, the ceo level guys in healthcare startups are uh, from different fields as well yeah thank you rajiv and one more question yeah. in whatever startups which you have named you have not uh, like now ayurveda is missing wellness uh, those things uh, yeah, yeah 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 i i i uh, you know yes ayurveda is uh, uh, another uh, very big uh, area but uh, uh, ayurveda is more of a uh, you know uh, we will call it call them um, e-commerce uh, uh, you know startups because uh, there is no technology uh, you know uh, which is involved uh, uh, it's it's pure uh, sale of uh, ayurveda products through e-commerce portals right so that's what you are talking about right uh, ayurveda and that wellness and all right like oil yes 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 that i mentioned uh, that uh, uh, 
the wellness uh, startups uh, which are uh, promoting wellness this for example uh, this cure fit and uh, uh, the other one we talked about they are uh, utilizing these uh, uh, you know even mental health uh, uh, consultations they are organizing right so uh, and yoga uh, cult fit for example uh, so uh, like that uh, there are startups which are into uh, uh, you know giving uh, doorstep uh, services to uh, customers who are looking for such services uh, but uh, more of technology startups are uh, using telemedicine and uh, uh, using uh, technology uh, to uh, give uh, uh, the healthcare facilities uh, uh, to people uh, uh, through their portal or through their uh, web application. Uh, of course, e-commerce, there is a more plethora of startups which are into e-commerce. No? Thank you, Rajiv. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, uh, I think it has been an interesting discussion. Uh, the healthcare sector is one of the fastest growing sector in the world. Uh, uh, health tech is uh, intersection of healthcare and technology. So uh, we we are deliberately keeping the e-commerce out of it uh, for our discussion today because. Uh, uh, when we talk about health tech, it is uh, all about uh, using technology and uh, healthcare services, uh, which refers to this development. It is broadly understood that technology facilitates the delivery or consumption of health services outside of a hospital uh, or a physician's office. I recently visited uh, NetHealth uh, Summit, which is uh, uh, the... Uh, uh, you know, association of all the uh, healthcare companies and uh, hospitals. You know? So, uh, so there are various uh, uh, companies which are, uh, you know, coming out with uh, such uh, uh, life-saving healthcare devices. You know? So, uh, for example, uh, um, uh, there is a company which is uh, giving monitoring of uh, the heart rate and heartbeat and uh, uh, then uh, uh, of course uh, there are various uh, uh, you know machines which are there uh, in case you are facing breathing issue uh, you know those uh, uh, ipap or cpap or you know there are so many um, such uh, uh, technology tools which are available which help you uh, in case of uh, uh, some breathing issue or some uh, yeah, and then there are certain life supporting, uh, uh, you know, devices uh, which uh, are utilized in case of a critical care uh, if you are in ICU. Uh, so, for example, I met uh, uh, people from GE, uh, from, um, you know, some other uh, big companies, uh, ResMed. Uh, they, they have uh, devices which, uh, uh, you know, help you. Uh, save uh, lives because uh, you know of uh, uh, whenever you are facing some such uh, critical issue one through monitoring uh, and second through a preventive uh, uh, life uh, support system you know? so so that is uh, uh, the uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, scenario which is emerging uh, uh, they are seeing uh, now it is a possible that even if the heart stops working, they'll keep the man alive you know, through uh, uh, other uh, you know, techniques. Uh, and uh, uh, similarly, uh, for uh, the, the technology is uh, 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 for giving uh, instant help uh, uh, to a person who has uh, just got a heart stroke or something. So all these, uh, um, and uh, the uh, technology of uh, putting stunts in their uh, veins and uh, you know so medical science is also uh, improving and uh, all these uh, uh, devices um, are also uh, being used to save the lives of uh, many people um, uh, for example there was a big discussion on uh, dialysis um, so, uh, so if in case of a kidney failure 
uh, the dialysis which is uh, being uh, given uh, at the various dialysis centers uh, to uh, the patients uh, uh, is uh, you know uh, a big uh, uh, relief for them because if they don't get that uh, dialysis uh, um, uh, you know uh, they they are uh, you know uh, they cannot uh, uh, get that support so uh, uh, ajay has left a question in the chat window uh, we mentioned about me too products me too products are basically um, all startups have similar products but uh, they are they are uh, you know uh, that i also uh, so it's not that me too uh, it's basically uh, you know the products which are similar in nature but uh, uh, by by force you also need to have them because you have to compete uh, with the uh, other startups in the similar area uh, uh, but uh, mm, uh, lot of innovation is going on lot of uh, technical uh, uh, innovation is going on in this uh, healthcare sector and uh, ai tools particularly are becoming more and more useful for the uh, you know patients uh, because they um, are uh, getting uh, these services uh, and the companies are delivering healthcare products uh, outside hospitals uh, health tech companies are also providing information technology solutions uh, to help uh, healthcare delivery while reducing cost uh, and um, you know the current scenario is uh, all about uh, providing uh, services to people at their doorstep uh, at their home uh, where they can get the help immediately and urgently so uh, it's not that uh, uh, they have called the doctor home and the doctor is taking more time to come home uh, you can go to a website and immediately search for a doctor who's at that time available and uh, you can get some instant help um, online. So that in case of emergencies also uh, is possible. And uh, also, uh, uh, for example, you have old patients or old uh, age uh, parents or something. Uh, they uh, can get support where... Uh, uh, it is now easy to find a nurse or a, a you know person or a physiotherapist coming home uh, you can book uh, online and they can uh, come and uh, they will deliver their services at home so uh, healthcare at home is becoming a big big booming market and we have analyzed that uh, the market size is uh, close to uh, you know few billion us dollars so 37 billion us dollars uh, uh, was the size of, as per my last study so um, that's the kind of potential which is existing uh, in this segment and uh, uh, there is a huge uh, opportunity which is waiting uh, uh, for all of us and then uh, indian startup community is uh, also uh, redefining healthcare delivery through various digital solutions bridging the gap between patient and the provider and also uh, uh, you know and the startups which are focused on health technology and uh, much more uh, to uh, you know give uh, uh, you know um, uh, there are a lot of uh, planning which is going on uh, in uh, uh, ensuring that uh, the healthcare uh, is uh, reaching the masses and uh, all in the process all these startups are making uh, good money they are uh, actually uh, getting a lot of uh, traction and uh, as i said uh, healthcare at home uh, is becoming a reality i am myself uh, advising few companies uh, who are uh, into this space and uh, they are doing exceedingly well so uh, investing healthcare investing investing in these companies is also going to be a very very wise decision for investors so those of you who are investors and looking for investment in this sector i think there is huge huge potential because the uh, people are going to uh, have uh, health issues uh, uh, india uh, also uh, the 
percentage of old age people is increasing uh, not so much as europe or uh, other countries but uh, uh, so uh, the market uh, for healthcare companies is not only restricted to india the market is uh, all across the globe uh, so uh, i know this uh, company the company i talked about they are uh, providing services to uh, uh, you know people in singapore in uh, a lot of overseas uh, countries uh, so uh, and uh, you know it's 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 growing so uh, the because uh, the uh, if you if you look at the nursing facility and other facilities uh, they may not be having that kind of qualified uh, people to take care so uh, there are so many uh, countries where uh, india or indian companies can enter and uh, can do very well uh, to provide uh, the healthcare services. So this is uh, what we wanted to discuss today. Any uh, last question? Anybody with any question, please? Could you please elaborate on that Me Too product once again, uh, Rajivji? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, there, when there is a competition between uh, the healthcare, uh, health tech startup, sometimes we find, uh, you know, that uh, you don't have uh, similar, uh, uh, you know, you, you don't have unique products, but you you need to have those products uh, with you as well. That so so for example, uh, all pharma companies are having, uh, uh, you know, uh, the uh, same uh, kind of medicines, same kind of products, same kind of a model for providing doctor consultation, same kind of uh, uh, you know. Uh, the uh, processes uh, which are there for uh, helping them on telemedicine uh, but they have to have uh, all the uh, you know uh, products uh, with them uh, because uh, they, they can't be too much distinct from each other so they 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 have to compete in the same market so they also have uh, uh, you know uh, uh, that okay uh, we we have these services, we have these products. For example, uh, you know uh, the uh, uh, di you know diabetic care companies are there, which are specializing in uh, diabetic care products. I came across a company which was uh, into only diabetic management. No, so uh, they they were uh, only talking about the diabetic. Uh, uh, care product but uh, you know the, the range has to be uh, sometimes there is a very, very thin difference between uh, the products of one uh, startup and the other startup but uh, those they have to keep uh, to uh, provide all the bouquet of services uh, to the consumer because consumer is also looking for one-stop solution they are not looking for uh, they don't have time to uh, you know go to different uh, uh, websites for different kind of uh, issues or different kind of problems so they want a one time uh, stop solution so uh, for example that is why uh, the companies which are uh, for example into uh, the uh, uh, for example this cult uh, fit we were talking about they started with only a mobile app uh, for exercise or uh, for uh, yoga or but then they started adding uh, because you know the customer base which is coming there they also need uh, um, the uh, diagnostics they also need uh, some other uh, uh, you know healthcare services so they kept on adding uh, those uh, products so it's a uh, creating a bouquet of products which uh, is uh, uh, you know uh, suitable for your customers okay Thank you, Rajiv. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, everyone, uh, for uh, you know gathering on this uh, Sunday extended holiday period uh, is going on, but still we have uh, 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 had a good discussion, and I'll be sharing this uh, on our YouTube channel, and uh, uh, we will uh, have a uh, we'll continue with uh, our quest to share more and more information about uh, the startup ecosystem the investors as well as uh, uh, the people who want to expand and get into startups uh, they are all welcome 
to join our community. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.